You're wasting time. Yes, you are, but we need to stop. We're gonna stop right now and we're gonna make sure we get to the bag and we're gonna start living the life of abundance we know we deserve. And this video is gonna help you get it going. All right, y'all? So let's get right into it. We're gonna start off with a Bible verse. Proverbs 21.5 says, and this is the amplified version, the plan of the diligent leads surely to abundance and advantage, but everyone who acts in haste comes surely to poverty. I don't know what you've been living in or how you are interpreting that, but what I got from that, y'all, you have to be diligent or specific. That leads to what? Abundance. And you know that's my favorite word on this channel is abundance because we all deserve abundance. And if you act hastily, it surely leads to what? Poverty. I don't want no parts of the poverty. I don't want no poverty boulevard, no poverty street. I don't want to be nowhere near that street. Okay, y'all? So we're going the opposite direction. So this video is going to be talking about being diligent. So we're going to get right into it, okay? So the first step to living the life of abundance and stop wasting time is to set goals. Clearly set goals. What I like to do, my friends, is that I like to think about what I need to get done and I'm thinking about it the night before. What do I need to get done to get to my goal? And I'm making clear notes, literally on my bedside is a notebook, making notes of what I need to do. Do I need to call this person? Do I need to write this email? Do I need to make this video? Do I need to make this short? What do I need to do to get to my goal? Is your goal to start a YouTube channel? Is it your goal to actually start that business? Is it your goal to get out of debt? Whatever your goals are, you need to be clear as the big goal and then you're writing down the steps you need to do. Going back to one of my favorite books, Eat the Frog by Brian Tracy, we need to focus on also getting that very uncomfortable thing done first. And I am a living testimony to that premise of that thing that makes you very uncomfortable that you really know you need to get done. Once you do that, the rest of the stuff you have to do is gonna feel like nothing. Okay, so what are we doing step one? We are writing down our goals and we're prioritizing the tasks from hardest to easiest. Okay, let's go on to step two. Step two talks like a little bit about what I was saying earlier, prioritizing the task. It's literally that simple. We have to go ahead and tap into what is the hardest thing, making sure we're getting that done, checking it off on our list, and make sure you have literally a checkoff list. There is going to be a chemical reaction in your brain that releases once you check off that list. It just really think about it. When you have a list of things to do, how good does it feel when you see those checks? It's not just a visual thing. There's literally a chemical reaction that happens in your brain that gives you that joy, that serotonin, that feeling of like, ooh, accomplishment. And guess what? You feel good about yourself. So we have to make lists and have check off. My husband is a, is a diligent list maker and it is definitely a skill to have that will help you skyrocket your life. And, and I have to say really quickly, on my entrepreneurship journey, y'all, and in the life that I wanna live and continuing to cultivate the life of abundance and bossing up as we do over here, right? This skill, this video, what I'm telling you right now changed my life. And I'm, and I'm gonna be say that forever, y'all. So once I started implementing these things, my life went from just stagnant, okay, blah, 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 whatever, to literally sky's the limit, going up. Talking to people I've never talked to, helping individuals, like hearing that I've been, you know, I've helped individuals across the United States that I've never met, across the country, Canada, the UK, Africa. Like, I am talking to people that I would never have talked to. And it's not because of just any happenstance. It's because I was very diligent, going back to the Bible verse, on my time and what I'm doing and how how I'm doing it. So don't sleep on what I'm telling you. Make sure you're taking notes, right? And taking action because you remember I told you no takers and money makers, right? So let's go on to number three. Oh, this is important y'all. Time blocks. When you are prioritizing your day and the tasks that you have to do, you have to give yourself time blocks to allocate for those specific tasks. Because I don't know about you, if I get started with something and I don't have a timer, I can see be stuck in a task for two hours, two and a half hours, three hours, and the day is done. And you might can attest to me also that, that it happens to you. So what you can do to maximize your day is to give yourself time blocks, like 45 minutes is for responding to emails, an hour is to researching, an hour and 30 minutes is to content creation or working in the business, two hours is actually meeting with clients and doing tours or meeting with clients and you know consulting, 
whatever it is, you have to break up your day into blocks to be more efficient because at the end of the day, you can literally be on responding for emails for two hours easily. So set a timer on your phone, get a separate timer. And when that timer is up, you're done. You have to switch to the next, next task and the next task, because like I said, that's how you become more efficient with your time. All right, let's go on to the next step. This is important y'all. Step four is including breaks. It's very important between those time blocks. You have to give yourself a little bit of a break. You do give yourself a little bit of a break. So a three minute, a five minute, and of course lunch breaks, because it is, it is literally proven scientifically proven that you do need breaks. You need to give yourself a brain break. So give yourself those breaks, be intentional with it. Don't go crazy scrolling now, right? But give yourself that time, go outside and take a walk, you know, let the sun touch on your face right? Give yourself time just to relax. But then once your break time is up, you do have a timer also for that break time. That break can be anywhere from three to five minutes, set your timer and then get right back into it. You don't want to be drained to be like, I've been working for 12 hours, right? The quality of work is going to dwindle. But if you're, if you're literally diligent in the time blocks and then the breaks, then you've maximized your day and you didn't burn yourself out in the same time. Okay. Last but not least, this is so important at the end of the week, you need to reflect and learn from what you've done, what worked, what didn't work, reflect on your productivity. How productive were you? when you were doing this task, be for real with yourself, like be for real, take a stock of how many days that you did, you know, making your plans, or, you know, writing down your to-do list. How many days did you actually stick to your time blocks? How many days did you actually take your breaks? How many days did you not take your breaks, right? How many days did you actually do those hard tasks first? And then see if this works for you really and truly. If it does, make sure you comment down below and let me know what worked and what didn't work. So I hope this video is helpful for you. If you want to see more videos on how I was able to change my life using some self-help tips, what books I use, let me know. I'm so happy to do that. And I do respond to my comments. So please let me know what direction you are looking for in regards to self-help, entrepreneurship, mom, mompreneur, just all things abundance and boss life. Make sure you comment down below. Your girl is here to help you boss up in every way possible. Okay guys. So I hope you have a blessed day, a blessed week, a blessed month, a blessed rest of the year. Make sure you have liked and subscribed to this video. I'll see you next time guys.